Hi, welcome to Detours, Understanding Acquired Brain Injury. With us, we have our lovely host, Lisa, and we're going to be talking about something that normally doesn't get a lot of attention, but does affect a lot of survivors, especially those since the dawn of uh, cameras in every smartphone and stuff like that, which means something that popped up after I was hurt, at least my more serious tree. Um, but we're going to be talking about things about like mementos and, and photographs and stuff like that while we were, you know, and just shortly after we were hurt and stuff like that. Although, yes, there were like newsmen and stuff like that who took newsmen, women, you know, photojournalists and stuff took pictures. Usually it was like just, you know, you get a little news blurb or something like that, which is what happened with mine back in 94. But now, you know, everyone's got a little, you know, video camera, a little video studio in their pocket. And so that changes the, you know, what goes on these days. So, Lisa? You know, yeah. Um, basically, about... You know, loved ones like either spouses or children, and you know they're pretty. You know, serious. You know whether they're they have event or they're like unconscious, and you know their loved ones feel the need to take their picture. And I'm like, really? Um, I just don't agree with it honestly i mean it's one thing if you're just going to keep it in your camera but then you have a lot of people that have to share it on facebook and my biggest thing is do you really think your loved one really wants their picture of how they are at that point on facebook i don't think so I mean, I just, you know, and especially children also, depending on how old they are, you know, especially when they're a teenager, they have friends. I'm sure they don't want their friends to see them in that condition. I mean, I know I wouldn't. I know my kids wouldn't, you know, and it's just, I don't know. It's a little disrespectful, I would say. And I guess morals come into it too. That's just my opinion. I just don't think it's a good idea. I know I've been seeing it a lot on, you know, on some of the pages, you know, on Facebook. And I thought about it. I'm like, wow, really? These people are like either are conscious or on that event or whatever. Now, I will say like, it's like, say, your kid or you know, depending on how old they are, or even like your spouse or wife, I mean, your husband or your wife, you know, are, is like progressing. They're doing really good. They're trying. Okay, I get it. It doesn't mean you have to post it, but I get it if they want to. But I would think that they should have consent, meaning that, you know, if they're at that point that they're able to, say yes or no, if they're able to, or wave, then you know it's okay. But if they're not able to speak, no, you should not share that stuff to other people. I don't know what your opinion is, Mark. I, I would say I pretty much agree with you on that. Um, um, you know, it's like, it's interesting. I was I had read an article actually about this just before we talked because when we discussed yesterday about the possibility of doing this and some other stuff, um, I was like, I wonder what people think. And it's interesting is that like from the Brain Injury Association and stuff that there were some interesting articles and stuff. And it seems like a lot of survivors do like like to see where they've been, you know, to to follow. Um, I think that it's there's kind of two issues here. There's being photographed versus having a share. Um, mm. So the pictures, they seem fine with. The majority of survivors actually like it. <clears throat> Sharing, that's the issue. And so I guess I would say, eh, go ahead, take your pictures as long as they're not, as long as they're at least sort of dignified. Like, 
make sure privacy, dignity, make sure things are covered that would normally be covered. No, no necky photos. Like, I don't care if it's your kid, whatever. Make sure things are covered for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nothing intimate. I don't a a little respect for that kind of stuff. Um, So if you're going to take pictures, nothing revealing, please. Um, As far as like then, you know, go ahead, take take your pics here and there, you know, not excessively. Um, I, 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 I love, I love the, that meme where it's like, you know, Neil Armstrong took like six pictures or 30, 38 pictures, you know, and he went to the moon, you know, uh, Missy took, went to the bathroom, took 138 photos. And, and you know, it's like, yeah. How many do you really need of uh, your your hubby, your wife, your your son, your daughter, your grandma, grandpa on a vent? Seriously, two exactly. at most, maybe three. You know, if they're making progress, if you know the if they're not intubated or the trach is out, great. All right, good. You got one right there too. And then like sitting up, you know, great. There's another one. You know, walking with a walker. Boom. There you go. There's progress. All right. Now right. the rehab, you know, learning mm-hmm. to feed themselves. Oops, he's filled his soup. Ha ha, funny. And, you know, it's like pictures for me. When I had my second, you know, um, after I had my second injury and stuff like that, it was like uh, they took a picture, you know, with me sitting there kind of like, uh, you know, I was I definitely out of it. And then they took one where on the whiteboard it said, like, goal for today to poop. And, you know, because pain meds and all that other stuff kind of, you know, like, makes things challenging. And it's funny. I look at it and I get a laugh out of it. But, you know, it's like, or me trying to trying to sit up and, you know, like, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, whatever. If it makes you smile. All right, whatever. I don't care. Um, but, you know, there's, like, I, point, I certainly wouldn't want one of me trying to get a shower or something like that no. or me actually trying to poop and I think it's a matter of as long as it's not too embarrassing or too kind of weird it's like parents seem to love like the pictures of you know yes uh, no you know the kind of pictures I'm talking about yes I do yeah. uh but you can't be uh, processing those pictures uh, at, you know, believe me, they will yeah. process them. But not like they used to. Uh, <laughs> well, it's like for survivors, especially, they're not, they're not kids, even though sometimes you have to use some techniques that you would to deal with kids, <clears throat> especially adults. Um, mm-hmm. And so at least a little bit of you know, like looking out to protect their dignity at least a little bit. Yeah. And for sharing, that's the other thing. Um, it's like, yeah, you may think you're just sharing with grandma, but, you know, or, or grandpa or whatever. Do they understand Facebook and all that stuff? They may just put stuff right up there. So yeah. maybe like, tell them, hey, no, don't. <clears throat> there are ways to do it so they don't, you know. Right. So that's another thing. The survivor must be with it enough to make the decision whether yes or no. Yes, I really do correct. believe that. And and they must actually understand what that means. Sure, they can say yes or no or smile for the camera. But do they really understand it? If they don't understand it, they it really shouldn't can't be shared. Understand. Yeah, if they can't understand it. Now, if they can, sure, then it's up to them. Or if they're, you know, if they're under your guardianship, uh, then yeah, I guess that's up to you. I guess just yeah. use, use use common sense. I mean, if they're truly permanently or you know under your guardianship forever, then I guess using common sense. Mm-hmm. Exactly, I would think so too. I mean, if they're always going to be that way, then you know it's like you're not going to stop being stop taking pictures of them. But then just at least you know, you know what I mean. Just do it the right way. Exactly. With some respect. Mm-hmm. Such a hard topic. It is a hard topic. Um, I mean, nowadays everybody wants to take pictures of everything and everybody. Videos. <laughs> I mean, 
I take tons of video. Uh, Stacy calls them markumentaries when I like film something oh historical hmm. or it's like, oh hey, look over there. I want to film. I or does um, CT scanning or does like DTI diffusion tensor imaging, um, which may show like damage to certain deep um, you know white matter tracks or stuff, and they say, well, hey, this person's got the potential to be you know like. A, a criminal type or whatever um right. what are the implications there who owns those rights to privacy because you know that's like like um pre-crime or some you know, whatever weirdness who knows what they'll come up with and right we all like to pretend there's like self that's somehow separate from brain but it's not and who knows what laws you know um you know true who knows what laws? And so to what degree do we have privacy um, over stuff like that? Things that today are not an issue, but might be in 20 be. years. Exactly. And protecting privacy. There are no laws protecting against that. Back in like 2007 or 2009, I don't remember when, there was the genetic, um, there was a law passed protect your your genetic information to keep it so employers could not demand to see your dna yes so so they could not use that against you say oh wait a minute you've got like a 70 percent chance of alzheimer's we're not going to insure you or a 40 percent chance of cancer so we're going to charge you 20 percent more they yes i demand heard that they cannot, it's like the genie, the genetic information, non something, you know. Um, you mm -hmm. have legal protection against that. It is illegal to discriminate against you based on your genetics. Uh, and an employer may not demand that, and the government may not demand that stuff uh, to use right. that against you. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing like that about your brain. There are no Tell protections against looking at your MRI, CTs. Yes, there's HIPAA, but HIPAA's kind of, you know, there are potential loopholes for certain things. Of um, course. So <laughs> Nothing surprises me there. A competent <sighs> lawyer, and if they came up with like a new technology or a new way to use it, they might be able to, you know, if they're clever enough, reach down in there and you know, pull out a brain scan and say, nah, I'd like to. And the thing is, when you're unconscious, and if it's for an emergency or if you're, you know, having some behavioral stuff. Yeah. And there are new technologies for imaging, too, like photoacoustics, which uses sound to image your brain, but not like a standard ultrasound. Interesting. Um, literally uses certain frequency pulses to image your brain. Um, crazy. Yeah, um, very crazy. Quantum spin imaging, uh, Sharenkov um, imaging, all kinds of weird, like, K-density. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new technology, new ways of you know, looking. Um, I've wondered whether passive um passive x-ray imaging might be possible with sensitive enough equipment so basically just having the sensors and not requiring um active sources of x-rays and it's just using ambient x-rays that are in the environment uh, mm -hmm. you know from stars and from natural materials and whatever's around us and just like scanning somebody's brain without actually using an emitter so right. if you had sensitive enough equipment, maybe you can just use ambient energy that is present in the environment to image the brain. Stuff like that. Right. That I, I don't know. It would be interesting, but that way you wouldn't need to, you know, like pump extra energy into somebody. But it may be possible using the very – see, our telescopes and other things have become very sensitive. And so maybe using the same technology used in the telescopes and stuff and mm -hmm. more advanced uh, computational algorithms to perhaps image somebody's brain passively and not require to hit them with radiation, uh, x-ray, uh, ionizing radiation, folks, ionizing any form right. of ionizer to image it or 
passive neutron scanning. That is a cool technology too. Uh, no, we're not going to talk about that here. Mm -hmm. um, but who knows? These all offer the potential future. But going back to photography or imaging, who owns the right to that? Does the hospital or the company that's imaging you or do you? I don't know. What about images in medical books? Uh, people who are like permanently unconscious or whatever. What about like you know, teaching young doctors and nurses and don't know. What about neuropsychological testing? Do you own the rights to that or do they? Right. What about the insurance company? They're the ones who pay for hmm. it. Hmm. Yeah, it's so hard to say. Or what about, um, this is something I want to talk about with spousal and stuff like that. Brain injured spouse and their their uh, caretaker, they split. Who owns the right to it, especially if you're both in it? Yeah. Parent that and could kid. be a tough one. Parent and kid. Who has the right to it if you're both in it? Uh, well, yeah. Don't, don't know. Right. Yeah, it's very difficult. With this, I think it's know? a matter of respect. If you're going to do it, if you're going to do it, be respectful. And if you're going to share it, know who you're sharing it with because yeah. it has ramifications beyond just sharing. I mean, what about like pictures of you? Do you, how do you feel about that? You know, Mm -mm. Not online, no. Mm -mm. Just in general, on like, see, a, like my husband's phone, not mm -hmm. a problem because I know they're not going anywhere. You know what I mean? But you know, if somebody took pictures of me and put them online, hell no, 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 no. What you about know, it's just not right? What about him or your daughter, or your son sharing pictures of you? You know, like, how would you feel no. about that? Definitely not. No way. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it to them. You know. Have you in the past? They're, they're uh, you know, they're your kids. Have you shared pictures of them in the past? Only when they were young, first day of school, but they knew about it. Did they understand? Yeah. Yeah, they were fine. Yeah. You know. Do and are they still up? What do you mean? Are they still out there? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's memories on my on Facebook. That's it. Have I have to go, you, to go back pretty have, far. Have you asked? Have you asked them whether they still want them up? No, because it's so far long ago. The internet remembers. I can find pictures of me back to the seventies. Some stuff. Mm -hmm. The internet never forgets. Right. Heck, so, you know, this is one of those sticky things. It's like, you know, our rights that we ask for ourselves, we need to beware that we respect rights of others. Um, the only reason I'm bringing this up, it's not to embarrass or put you in a hard spot, no. is to, as a reminder that you know, we need to be careful, like when we ask for things or say, hell no, when we demand, we've got to be respectful of other people's rights, too. Two-way street. And as survivors, oftentimes, we're kind of rigid or inflexible, and we got to be my way. But we also then need to remember, and this is more for other people out there, we need to be for others as we want to be for ourselves. Right. I know. And again, it's not <sighs> at you necessarily, but it is a reminder. And it's also a reminder for me, too. It's like, because I would agree with you, I'd say, especially like in those, I, you know, I say, I don't care. You know, they took the picket. I don't give a shit. But right. anything that, but none of them were embarrassing, particularly. I don't care. Some made me laugh a little. Um, so <laughs> I don't care. Um, that's, that's why some of the stuff was kind of funny. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, heck, I even took one or two of them, um, right. because I was also with it enough. Um, and mm -hmm. that's another factor too, is like, you know, some of them I took as a way to show, Hey, look, look what I've made. And 
a lot of my family and friends are scattered. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got family in Germany. Um, right. And, you know, it's like, so what are influences and effects? This is, you know, also things like that. It's mm-hmm. a hard thing. It is. You it know, really each, is. Each situation is different. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I've got family all around the world, too. I mean, I've got, well, had, like, had the one uncle mm-hmm. who was in Australia. I mean, and um, friends there. I've got family, like, in Germany, um, family in California. Right all over so in those cases you kind of have to <sighs> but then yeah. email emailing and things like that are um but some end up sharing anyway so i guess it's more like an awareness and a respect and a dignity but i do agree with you in that you know it's like at least no i think the biggest thing is if they are unconscious yes that is the biggest thing yeah. You know, and they have no knowledge of what you're doing or that you're sharing. That's my biggest thing. Yeah. Yep. You know. Yeah. Yeah, like, maybe an answer to that would be, do not post it until they're awake or if they're never going to wake up. Maybe right. that's not in good taste to share that anyway. Right. Maybe have family and friends visit them if they can. Now, if they're in a position like in my family, I mean, if I were permanently out of it, all right, share it with those who can't. But I'd really rather have you come visit before I yeah. expire. You know? Exactly. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, if they're, gonna, if they're permanently out. But if they're going to wake up, let them make the decision or share after they've awakened with them as part of like a, a scrapbook. Mm-hmm. pictures or something like that to see how far they've made it but like the sharing yeah that's a I good mean, idea what is your motivation for sharing it is it you know that's the other thing why do you want to share this is this for poor me look what i have to deal with or is this hey look how far they've come i think if if it's look how far they've come or hey you know it's like you know okay maybe but if it's yeah. for me, you know, it's like, look how I work so hard for this. You know, if it's to draw attention to yourself, your motivations are bad. You really shouldn't, you know. Mm-hmm. But if on the other hand, it's to help uh, the other person, or maybe, you know, it's like, this is tough stuff. Yeah. Uh, and again, each family is different. That is very true. So true. Mm. Well, we'll see, you know, what people say, see what, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. I definitely want to hear below what people think or maybe even like share a video or ask, you know, like tell us, hey, I got a video I want you to see or I got pictures, <laughs> you know, that I, hmm. that I took of my so-and-so or these are pictures from mine. Um, exactly. I think most of us do have survivor pictures. Um, not all, but most. And, you know, it's like, hmm. Yeah. Or, oh my God, you know, did they seriously take that picture? You know, <laughs> it's, it's like, a, you know, a, a view land there, Starkers with a tube down your throat. And, yeah. you know, it's like, <sighs> like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Not at all. Hmm. So, yeah, we'll see what kind of comments we get. Hopefully, we get comments. Yeah. It's like, please out there, if you watch this, Please do comment. Uh-huh. Let, let us know what you think. This is more open to, to commentary, please. Um, all right. So I guess we'll, we'll call it for now. Uh, but mm. this is an interesting one, but a serious topic. Um, yes, please, yes. you know, like, share. Definitely um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon and share and share your anecdotes, um, your experiences. Um, with this topic, because it's kind of unusual. Um, I, I, yeah. I honestly, I'm not sure what the heck to say about it. I know it can go either way. Yeah, <laughs> but I'd love to hear everyone's opinions. So. Oh heck yes! Um, 
definitely something to just kind of shake your head at. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. That's all right. Indeed it is. So I will say, uh, yeah, um, definitely something to keep in mind. And Oh, pictures of like an accident scene or where, where, where the person was hurt or where it happened. Eh, kind of bad taste, but, you know, people do what they're going to do. So Right. All right. So our next one will be an interesting one, too. We'll get to that later. And so I'll say bye. Yeah. Have a good good evening. evening. You betcha. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Your brain. Um, If somebody does an MRI,